What's up guys and welcome back to Supercars of Westchester. Ferrari just unveiled its new supercar to the lineup and it's the 296 GTB, the first V6 engine from Ferrari since the 70s. It's also a plug-in hybrid which seems to be the new go-to for high-end supercar manufacturers these days. To me it looks like a cross between the SF90 and the F8 Tributo, only smaller with some styling cues from both of those cars, like the headlights for example. Very similar in design, just more compact. The front duct here is similar to the F8, just not as dramatic. You have the side air vents, also not as impressive as the F8 or the SF90. It looks closer to something more from the F430, but still overall works very good with this particular platform. Going around to the back, I really like what they did with the center exit exhaust. It's very different from what we've seen from Ferrari in past models and makes for an uninterrupted rear diffuser. I also like the clean design of the taillights with the LED indicators as well. The GTB also features an active rear spoiler that's inspired by the LaFerrari, so that will be cool to see in action. Moving on to the engine, we have a 2.9 liter twin turbo engine that's linked to a single electric motor. This creates 840 horsepower and 740 newton meters of torque with an eight speed automatic gearbox. This propels the car from 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds and a top speed of 205 miles per hour. Ferrari claims that the six cylinder engine sounds like a little V12, but since there is not yet any sound clips from the 296, we will have to wait to hear it for ourselves. For the interior, there is a lack of central infotainment screen, and like the F8 and Roma, there are hardly any buttons. Everything is pretty much digitalized now, even the engine start and stop button with the exception of the Manatino switch here. Like in the Roma, the switch itself is still there, but the different modes are illuminated in LEDs as well as on the dashboard. On the passenger side, you have the digital driver's display, which will give them certain information like the RPMs, miles per hour, and what gear you are currently in. The 296 will have a 7.45 kilowatt hour battery that allows up to 15 miles of electric only driving. It weighs about 3,240 pounds, which is not much more than the F8. It will also be available with an Assetto Furiano package which comes with carbon fiber exterior upgrades, shock absorbers, and Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2R tires. The price? It's looking to be around $320,000 for a base model, and for the Assetto Furiano package it will most likely be close to the $400,000 range. These will be available for early 2022. Let me know in the comments below if you like the new Ferrari 296 GTB and if you see one in your garage one day. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.